How y'all doing? Mike from Junks Automotive. Here the last couple weeks, work's been really, really rough. And I got to thinking last night, I thought, man, why does everything have to be such a fight? Then I got to thinking, well, heck, I've been fighting since I was a little kid. What do you have to fight about? What do you fight for? Everybody fights for something. When I was sixth, sixth grade, seventh grade, in English class, had a kid sit behind me and all he did was mess with me. He didn't know that bullies and me didn't get along for very long. That he'd poke and prod, poke and prod. And we'd have a test one, one day and he said, you let me see your answers. I'm like, no, man. So you let me see your answers, you're gonna have trouble. So the first time, yeah, he'd hit me, I'd move, he'd copy off my, my work. Well, after that time, I, I got to thinking, I thought, well, teacher figures out that all the same bad answers that I had, because I wasn't any good at English, were the same bad answers he had, and I'd be in just as much trouble as him. So next time test come around, started the test and and all I did was cover my paper kept whacking me on the back matter and heck I wouldn't show him my answers I was kind of hoping the teacher would notice and she'd figure out what's going on he'd get in trouble and I wouldn't it didn't work out that way so after the after the test was over he said you're 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 getting it now you're getting it okay after class I go to the bathroom Yep, there he was. Said he said I was going to learn my lesson for not letting him let him cheat off of me. He took a swing, and that was his first mistake. Even even in sixth grade, seventh grade, I wasn't a boxer, but I was a wrestler, and he let me get a hold of him, and that was it. Done for. So an adult of some administrative there at the school broke us up because I had him on the floor and let him have the what for you know <laughs> it was probably a good thing that guy showed up anyhow later on during that day he went to the nurse complaining he had a headache yep principal got involved because he said why he had the headache said I caught him in the bathroom and beat him up that's half true well, I got my got my paddling because that's what they did back then. My dad had always told me, he said, don't you ever fight. He says, you get in a corner where you don't have a choice, make sure you win that fight. I got to thinking last night how <laughs> I'm trying to win a fight. Make a living and take care of them beautiful ladies that live in that house on the other side of that barn. I fight every day at a job I really don't like anymore I fight and today I got to looking around thinking man everybody else here everybody else is fighting too we're all fighting we're all fighting for something what do you fight for put it down there in them comments I don't think there's anybody steps foot on this earth that isn't fighting for something and you might call it something different than that. I've got a goal. Well, you can have all kind of goals. <laughs> you got to fight for them. There's mornings I fight to get out of bed. There's days I fight depression. There's days I fight to not drink too much. Sometimes I give up that fight. We all have something to fight for. We all do. I just want you guys to know, and gals, old Junk Box Mike here is, uh, he's a fighter. I won't give up. Because if the way that you live isn't what you like, and you want something different, you gotta fight for it. You got to. 
And when you give up, that means you lost that fight. You take a break. <clears throat> I take breaks. I got to recharge my batteries so I can live to fight on again. Times are harder nowadays. Things cost more. Even though we may, might make a little more money we used to, doesn't matter. Everything costs more. It's still a fight. Will there ever be a time that we're not walking around on this earth having to fight for something? I kind of doubt it. Maybe the day when we pass on and move on to the next thing, whatever it is, maybe then we won't have to fight. But here we do. We're all together in this world and we spend a lot of time fighting each other over what we're fighting. <laughs> Why do we got to fight each other to do that? We got guys at work that they have their own fights. They're fighting a car, fighting this and that. Can't get this out, can't get that off, can't figure this car out. Mike, help me figure out this fight. I really wish I could, could as much as I get asked because I have my own fight. I'm getting at the age where it's hard to do the things I have to do on a daily basis to win that fight. It's a day-to-day -day fight to make a paycheck, to take care of my family, to be living the life that I want to live. It's a fight. I make videos. I fight that little MGA car in there because I want to better myself. I want to better my family. Believe it or not, that's what it's about. I'm going to show you guys that you take on the fight, you don't need a big shop. You don't need all the tools. You don't need all the high dollar supplies. You don't need all the skills. You just got to fight because you're fighting for what you want. Sit there and look at that car in the backyard, sitting in your garage, half tore apart, or you ain't even touched it yet. You ain't touched it yet, you ain't ready for the fight. Hmm? Everything's a fight. I fight my seven-year-old. I fight my wife once in a while. It's part of life. <laughs> it's part of life. So you pick your battle sometimes. Sometimes that's not worth fighting for. No doubt. Sometimes things, you have to fight for them. As much as you don't want to. You, to protect somebody you love, whether it's using your mouth, your brain, or your hands. Sometimes you have to fight. So what do you have to fight for? Let me know in them comments because I'm interested. Because I know we all fight. We all have something to fight for. There's, we're all fighting. We're all fighting every day. All of us. Kids, I'm here with you. I'm here with you. And I guess I do these videos to help me win my own fight. Maybe help you. I don't have an answer about, <laughs> about how not to fight. Just that it is a fact of life. And it's okay to take a break. Take a break from that fight. Because fighting gets really old. It gets tiring. It can really be hard on your insides as well as your outsides. You guys take it easy. We'll see you Sunday. We've got a big video. It's going to be a lot of fun. A little bit of fighting. No doubt. Junk out.